Okay, hello dear friends. So I will do a makeup and a philosophical makeup. You may need to bear with me my process of doing the makeup, but uh, eventually we will get to our point. And uh, recently I got, uh, we are doing this uh, team virtual and team reality. Mm -hmm. So recently we are doing this uh, team reality versus uh, team virtual. And uh, so you give comments and you give uh, uh, questions and then I go to my friends, my family and my acquaintance to ask about those questions. Okay, so um, to ask about questions, so I would like to keep it going on and uh, would like that you keep on asking questions so that we can, we can um, keep it on and it will benefit a lot of us. And I call it philosophical makeup, philosophical um, OOTT with philosophical T. It, it is not that I am philosophical, it's just a way of bringing this topic. And I hope there is no philosophers in, in my audience to listen to my blah, blah, blah. They will be feel very uh, offended that uh, uh, an old woman just doing her things and talking about philosophy and they spend many years study and, uh, to do the research and they, it's not fair that uh, I talk about philosophy but uh, on the other hand philosophy is something that uh, we live in our life that we deal with every day. It's, it's our way of life. So come to the topic. So this topic we will talk about uh, we will talk about uh, uh, wisdom. Wow, big topic. And um, let me quickly finish myself get myself done and we can talk about it. Let me be quick. I'm a little bit in a rush and I think the action itself that being in the rush tells something. Everything has a reason to exist. Everything we do will give us a consequence. And uh, you use your heart to think what you do. You can get something out of it. You may improve yourself or you may not improve yourself. It's your choice. But uh, the things that happens in our life do give us enlightenment do give us meaning. The meaning for this is that when you are in a rush, you cannot do a thing perfect. And it also gives you another revelation, another inspiration, another thought is that we do not need to be perfect every time. There are times more important we need to do a makeup that is more serious. And there are times that is less important. You just need to give, get it done or you want to get it done. And for different time, different, uh, different purpose, we do things differently. And all this has a meaning, has a result. And uh, 
So you do not force yourself. At this time, I am not in the mood of making a complicated and uh, delicate makeup. Then I do not do it. And you will listen to me no matter how pretty I make myself, which is quite impossible, or how ugly I make myself, which is my will, if I want to. Right? And if you want to listen to me, you will in any case listen to me. If you do not want to listen to me, you will not. That brings up the topic of wisdom. And my son is, uh, is they, they have some lesson and uh, he was um, asking me another day, what is Dao De Jing? And can you understand the Dao De Jing? I said, I, I have read a little line, a few lines of it. And I kind of understand, but kind of deep. And um, so I give him the Dao De Jing Chinese and English translation. So one of the important things is that uh, um, for all this important, uh, uh, important uh, novels, important sayings, as much as possible. Read the original, because if you read the translation, you will not understand it. And I read the translation, and you always have this, uh, uh, the Chinese saying, saying this and that. We never heard about it. We never heard, because there is a lot of things that lost the meaning in Chinese translation. So I encourage him, <laughs> encourage is too big a word. So I said, read the original. And uh, okay, come back to Dao De Jing. One of it, it says, one minute. It's important. Do not watch my video in front of the screen looking at me because you will, it will waste a lot of your time. You just watch my video as if, uh, as long as uh, while you are doing other things because you have other things to do in your life, right? I think this is not too slow. Okay, I think I am good. Now, let's keep on with the wisdom. So, about Dao De Jing, one thing. Mm. I wrote down my points here. And uh, Dao De Jing, I'm thinking suddenly pop up in my mind is one word, Da Dao, Wu Dao. Da, big, da, wei, wu, no, da, wei, da, da, wu, da, da, wu, da, big way, no way. So how you explain it, it does not make any sense. And all these words, which is short, which is concrete, uh, a pre a concrete, you can explain in many ways. So my explanation big Tao, big way, or the real method, a true method, a universal method, is actually does not have a method. Do I make any sense? Does not make sense, but let me explain you to make it make sense. So, coming to our life, the big wisdom is actually, is not even a wisdom. 
In Chinese, we have another saying: 大智若愚 a big wisdom, a big smartness, a big cleverness, a big wisdom, is、uh, almost dumb. D U M B is、uh, is so no witty. It's all in the truth of your life, in the way of your life. You do not need to pursue a wisdom. You live your way and live to the best of your way, and that is the wisdom. I feel I could not explain it, so let me come to the story. One of the friend said she's sixty. He's sixteen years old, and loved another girl, and and、um, and the girl put her heart and soul into love, and the other person does not have the, the same feeling. The beauty of use. The beauty of. Love is not about getting. Love is about giving. Love is not marriage. Love is not a deal. Love is not a contract. Love is the purest thing. And we all have that. If you have not experienced that rush of love when you were young, you have not lived your life. I remember when I was young, when I first start to get the feeling of、uh, of、uh, of love beyond my parents' love, beyond love for some some little cute things, a love for a person that internal physical or internal、um, uh, hormone hormone change of love and.、Uh, There are people that I saw in the in the bus road, and just one eye, I totally fell in love, and I have to take that same bus、uh, every day. If I went there early, I have to wait until so if I could so I can see the same person, and it's just you are not loving that person. That person is the physical existence of your love. You just need to give. Do not pursue a result. And till now, I do not know that person's name and anything. It's just a rush of love. And if you do not experience it, it's really you do not have.、A, Have a use. Use is about this unconditional loving and giving. And you want to get something, but you may not get it. And、uh, I ask my family. My son said, "In life, there are ups and downs. Without up, you cannot see down. Without the down, you cannot feel the beauty of up." It's part of life. You get over it. I know it's easy to say to get over it, but it's very hard to get over it, and we all been through it. So enjoy that moment of unconditional love. You will not have it when you get old. You get old, you will think about the balance. My family condition, my education condition, my income condition is that worse that condition, and I use my money to exchange your use, or I use my intelligence to exchange your beauty. It's all become become a, a capitalist balancing, not capitalist balancing. It can. It happens in in any any country in any system, but it becomes a bargaining, and you try to find equilibrium. In use, we do not look for it. In use, we we look for the trueness. 
but once at the at one side you enjoy that feeling at the other side you understand this is a part of us growing up we all grow up and through life we understand that uh, something is possible something is not possible that person you passionately love is you passionately love her it does not equate to that person passionately love you and you do not you cannot put an equation of your love it is enforcing another person to love you you do not have that right and nature does not work that way if you want to love just to keep your love but you cannot force another person and that person does not love you does not mean she is not a good person she might be a wonderful person smart pretty with wisdom and happy just everything she could be that but she just does not have that click and she does not love you does not mean she does not love another person maybe she is passionate about another person and on the other side the third person may be loving her or not loving her that is beyond control each individual we have the right to love and we enjoy that love but what we get is beyond what we control we can plan things but if that thing becomes a thing if that thing can mature is beyond our control is decided by heaven is decided by our previous fate there are many beautiful people many magnificent people they may not end up a good marriage such is life and there are many beautiful people magnificent magnificent people hard working taking care of themselves and do makeup and learn new things and do new things and do good things eat good food exercise do everything and have good marriage but it is not for sure that the husband will love forever this person we do not know there are something we do not understand about fate it's not you make effort you can get it maybe the fate of your love is doomed to be one year to be 10 years to be 20 years and then that love is consumed is gone it's not that person is bad it is consumed it is gone your fate for that person is gone and it's not even that you didn't work hard you did work hard you did everything you want you did everything you tried you cannot control at any point at any time do not lose your hope for your own humanity for your own goodness 
even if the other person does not love you. You be good because you are good because that is your nature. Your nature is a good person and you do not hurt other people. You do not do wrong things to other people. You do not do bad things to other people. And you control yourself. In time of anger, you do not let your emotion take you over. You do not go suicide. You do not kill another person. You do not hurt another person. The person, we have seen a lot of people pulling a trigger to kill another person. I always say, that person, that criminal, before he did that thing, he was a human. And from that moment on, he did that thing. He became a criminal. He became a monster and he used to be a human like you and I. When you get your emotion overtake you, the demon inside you overtake you and you made the wrong thing, you will never turn it back. There are people pull salt, pull chemical to a beautiful woman because of jealousy, because of that. Before that, they both, that person was a human and the anger, the out of control, pushed them that way. The demon, they let the demon, they let the devil inside themselves took the better part of themselves. We all have a devil inside ourselves and we control ourselves. We can be as bad as anybody. Anybody has the capacity to do bad things. Same as we have the capacity to do good things. And just one moment. Just one moment that will change. And you walk your whole life to control yourself, to not let that moment to happen. Of course, there are people more, the character more um, mild and more controlled. There are people more passionate and more um, expressive and explosive. And some people is a, a minor struggle of controlling and for some people a harder struggle to control but we need to control you know who you are and you know the effort you put into controlling yourself do not think bad do not do bad no it is not you. Okay, so come back to, <clears throat> to this uh, question about wisdom, about youth, about love. So let me continue. I <laughs> cleaned up a little bit of my throat. And uh, this friend said, you have traveled, you have raised a family. And uh, what do you think about wisdom? So my come back to the original topic, come back to my original word, da dao wu dao. You be yourself. And through different life, through being a teacher, through being a businesswoman to sell internationally, I, I used to work as, a, as a, a, a salesperson for an international company. Through seeing these different people, different way of life and uh, there is really, and I get, 
we are all different and the important thing is to to be yourself we are all different to be yourself to be the best of yourself and do not let the evil take over you you can be good you can be bad you can be talented on one part and on the other part you will not be talented stories mm. so no one is perfect live to the best of yourself and use your mistake use your weakness to your advantage today i was doing painting i just could not make it right but i'm thinking maybe i can at least i made a video of that later on you can see at least i can share my struggle and uh, share my struggle not sharing my perfection my perfect part make you understand you already understand and uh, make me be confident of being myself i am not good i'm okay i am learning and the process is about learning is not about the result and this is actually what my sons taught do not search too much about do not get yourself stuck in the result and enjoy the process if you enjoy the process and really put yourself into doing it what you get is much less important and and the, and the, and the process and your life you will be more enjoyable because every time you are putting yourself and you are the initiator of your life you are the motivator of your action and you are not forced by others you are not dictated judged by your teacher you are lucky if you have a good teacher but you are usually not so lucky am i right okay enjoy the process not the end result not only the end result of course if you get it right it will be a very very pleasant thing but enjoy the process of doing it and enjoy the process of loving another person enjoy the process of discussing with your husband about wisdom and do not force your husband get the same result with you and do not force your husband to love you forever he has the freedom of not loving you and when you give him the freedom he may end up loving you even more and he may end up finding this is the most free world i don't know this can echo with a lot of you you cannot force another person to love you you read you see you see a lot of couples they live together and they do not have love they are just living together nothing wrong with it living with another person become habitual and becomes part of it but um, too big a topic enjoy the love you love enjoy the moment you have and uh, make an end to something you cannot suffer you know where to stop where to keep on you know it i will not talk more and um, so i ask another friend i went to museum ask the friend who had some problem with her spine and uh, she was her take was different 
and you can see that she has struggled. She's been through so much. And she said, you cannot make diamond without pressure. You cannot make diamond without pressure. Your hardship, your difficulty, your frustration, your pressure, it builds you. It makes you a strong person. Whatever does not kill you will make you stronger. And that is truth. So I think that is uh, that is roughly about it. I do not know if I have any any uh, any wisdom in it, but uh, but that's what I can think about for now. And uh, next time I make video, I may have a very different thought. And we are in different moments of life. And we have different things surrounding us. Our thoughts cannot jump out of the current situation. Everything we say, everything we do will have the biggest impact of what we are experiencing. Another time, I, I will say differently, but roughly, I believe in goodness and I believe in, in goodness. bring up questions, bring up new topics. We will keep it going. I will stop here. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Put on the best of yourself from inside your heart, not, not only from the experience, not, not only from the appearance, sorry, <laughs> that is gold, that mistake is a gold, not only from the appearance, whatever, whatever is happening is already happening. The only thing you can control is this moment that you decide to smile and to look pretty. <laughs>